Hey YouTube, Fat Meryl here, and today I want to continue the series of 1 through 100k. Daily gift. Well, how awesome is that? So we're going to open this. And it seems that I got my pre order pack. Oh, wow. Look at those stats. Alright. So what I'm going to do is Storm Club and probably just quick sell the rest. Alright, so, oh, quick sell all. Alright. Alright, so it seems we have a gold pack, so just open that up real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the messy. Give me the messy. Give me the messy. Come on. Show me the messy. Show me the messy. Alright, and we get fucking M. Becky. Alright. More. Uh. Mm, I really can't complain about this pack. It was free, so, you know. Um. You know, who doesn't like free stuff? You don't like free stuff? Wow. No, I'm joking. Alright, so today I'm just gonna be continuing the series. Um, yeah. Well, that worked out good. Um. He looks like he could go for a bit. So. And I believe he's in League One. Yes. Um. I'll quick sell the rest. So, yeah. So, I was just on the X. So, whoa. I'm on the Xbox. Or not on the Xbox right now, but I was just on the console. And it seems that the Howard, the Howard, and the Marin have sold. So. Now I'm at 5k, and still this Tim Howard has not sold. Bump him down. So the trades are going to be really high right now. Since, um, you know, everyone's on. So I'm going to go find a good trade, and I'll come back to you guys when I get one. Alright, so, hey guys, I'm back. And I found this one for around 3,000. His name is White. And all his other ones go for around 4,000. So, pick this up if we can. There we go. So, again, they go for around 4,000 in his formation. I'll show you the trick I just used. So, what I did was I searched like this. I searched about the cheapest thing, was which around oh, 3,400. And I just looked, and it had been up on the market for about five minutes and it seemed too cheap so I looked it up in its formation it was around 3k I looked them up in his formation and the cheapest one in his formation went around 1k so right now I'm going to quick auction him you really want to get them done get these um, sales done in the day because not many people buy at night so it's critical that you um, sell them now instead of later so I'm going to go to find another trade, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've just found a new player to trade with, and his name is Daniel Welbeck. You all know him, pretty pacey, good to have on your team, very cheap too, and um, good for an English team or Barclays team, whichever one you prefer. And he's going for around, wow, maybe this isn't a good first entry trade with. So, Alright, there we go, so we can make four... A few hundred coin profits. Alright, so he's going for holy crap. So he's going for around 1.2, 1.1. So what we're gonna do is see if we can pick him up for 900. So, alright, here's the closest one we have. He's 800, and I said he was going for around 1, 1.2. So this is a good um, deal, as is this. And, um, so what you just want to do is look at all the cheapest ones and see how high it's going for. I also, on my watch list, have a Toshigma, which I believe is too expensive, so come over from watch list. And when these trades get down to about 20 seconds, I'll re unpause the video. Alright, so there's about 25 seconds left, and I don't think it'll happen here, but if you do have a, what I call, double trade, um, it's kind of bad but you have this one with the same time period and the one that you're buying for the same time period and you have to kind of alter and 
not getting outbid. So, so you kind of have to alter. And if this guy goes any higher, then he is probably just a Nimrod. I can still make a small profit. I'll take him because apparently this guy wants him bad. So I'm just gonna piss him off. So for this, do that sneak a bid. And wow, that guy must really want him. All right, have fun with your Daniel Welbeck for 1.5k. Um. Oh, not getting this one either. Wow. So yeah, people, as you can see, people really want that wall back. And I um, got him in a bad formation, and wow. Alright, so, seems that some people have no idea what they're doing. Um, see if there's any more. 900. So we're going to go for this one real quick. Um, if people jump the bid on an offer, I would... I wouldn't quit, but since they jumped the bid and they're that stupid, I would just, not on the computer, but on the Xbox, I will button mash A to get the bid, just to make them think I'm a bot or something like that. Um, just really annoys people, and you need, the bad thing about that is, I guess someone could shoot the bid up, like one time I was button mashing. Some guy shot up a Sergio Busquez for 15k, which I had no idea he went for that high. And then the kid bid on him again, so I went and checked, and he was going for like two, three to five k in that four, one, two, and two. And I was so lucky that happened. You gotta be careful for people like that. So now we're gonna go check his price, see what his max bid is. Yeah, so we have. 1.1 ass I mean yeah so what we're gonna do it oh not in there oh it's not in there either there we go so we're going for about 1.1 picked him up for 900 easy 200 coin profit not the biggest profit but you know it it works all right little profits like this get us to bigger trades so, I guess that's all for today's episode. Kind of short. I just got back from school. I just tried throwing up a vid. So, um, hope you guys liked. Please, please give me feedback. I really want to get better. As you can see, these little 200 coin profits aren't enough. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me, even though I'm <laughs> not that advanced in trading. And, um, please, if you enjoyed, please like. If you, um, like the content, please subscribe. We need subscribers. But the subscribers we have are pretty awesome right now. And, um, I'm trying to get three likes on this video. If that's possible, please. If you're watching the video, please drop a like. Um, what's it gonna hurt just to hit that little thumb button? And, um, as usual, have a very nice day.